Hi. Uh, in this video, we're going to take another look at De Morgan's laws. Um, I'm going to work through some examples, talk through the processes, try and help you understand some methods uh, to help you simplify some of the, the more complex um, expressions. I'm also going to show you some of the ways of proving that you have got the answer right. Uh, because I think that's this is one of the lovely kind of topics that you can actually test thoroughly to make sure that you you understand it properly. Okay, so let's start off by um, creating a, a an expression. Okay, so I'm going to use one that goes the not of a or the uh, let's do b and a but let's do the not of that and let's let's make it a little bit more complicated by knotting the lot okay now what i want to do first of all in this case when i'm looking at this kind of expression the first thing i want to do is say oh i don't like i don't like these not gates let's let's remove those so how can i remove those well if we look at the pattern here of this a on b and a it kind of looks a bit like the second law okay so we want to remove the knots let's write this down remove the knots uh, and if we look at this pattern we could say okay let's call this object um i want to choose a different color uh, and i'm using a piece of software that makes it kind of difficult to do sometimes let's uh, go down here okay treat this here as one object and this here as another object let's call this object x and this one object y all right so um back to black okay right so this basically says actually i probably want to keep this on red this basically says um x and y the not of that this is the negation of the disjunctions can be translated into the conjunction of the negations so that would then result in not x and not y okay so this is the pattern that we're trying to replicate here um now if we to remove the knots what we what we want to do essentially is put a break in this part here okay so we want to put a break in that part so what we can do is say okay we break it up so now we have not not a and so remember we're changing the or gate into an and gate the not not of b and a okay now to remove the knots, we can um, apply the, um, if we look down here under our distributive laws, we have not not a equals a. Okay, so we can have the not not a is equal to a, and we can apply it to this situation. So that means a will become, or not not a will become a, and not not b and a will become simply b and a now if we look again at the associative laws this time we can see that we can rewrite this expression a b c in any ways and it's also the communi commutative laws so a b b a we can rearrange this so i'm going to apply two things i'm going to apply the the commutative commutative and the associative laws Okay, I'm going to apply both of these laws to this and rearrange this so it says A, A, B. Now, we take a look back at this, um, this grid, this table, these laws, which you really need to memorize. A plus A equals A. Okay, so now we're going to apply a distributive law here of A plus A equals A thus resulting in a b so our final expression here is just simply a b 
AB is the equivalent of, oh, let's go all the way up here, it's the equivalent of this original expression. So how do we prove it? Okay, well, what we need to do is create a, uh, a truth table for this. Okay, so <clears throat> let's do a truth table down, um, down here. So let's go, put our inputs first, A, oh, let's choose a different font color there. Uh, we'll go, let's go blue. So A, B, so we put our inputs in. I'm just gonna straight away put the possibilities in here. So um, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1, <coughs> okay. And then what I'm gonna do is um, say, all right, Let's, I'm going to do the truth table for this particular thing. So first of all, we're going to talk about this bit in brackets. So we're going to be looking at Y. So let's call this Y. So Y is equal to the not of B and A, or let's go A and B. Okay, so that's the first one we're going to do. So basically, it's the opposite of a uh, AND gate. So this is basically a NAND gate. Okay, so that becomes one, 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 zero. The next one we're going to look at is X. So X is basically not A. Um, so we've got not A. So not A. So basically everything is the opposite of A. So one, one, zero, zero. And then we can say that it is not, the final result we'll call this, uh, the final result will be, we'll call it R for result, equals, oops, <coughs> equals um, X or Y. So X or Y, okay? Let's, if I do this, X or Y. Right, so X or Y is one. Oh, hang on. Let's go back a step because I forgot that the whole thing is negated. The whole thing has a knot on the top. So here's the big knot that I nearly forgot there. So R is equal to not, not uh, X or Y. Okay. So it's the opposite. So now we have zero, zero. And uh, this is going to be zero and that's going to be one. Okay, so not X or Y, that would have been a one. So yeah, that's correct. So that is our truth table. Now, if you look at this truth table, what does it look like? Well, let's just do an and. Let's just do the result of and A and B. Well, zero, 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 one is zero, zero, uh, one, zero, zero, and one, and one is one. So this law, our, our simplification of this expression checks out because we have exactly the same truth table. We have the same results under both columns. Okay, so let's look at another tool that you could use to help you with this. Um, I'm gonna boot up my uh, Chrome here. I've got Wolfram Alpha open. I've typed in the expression here Okay, and I've run it, and we can see that the only way we can get true after I've typed in this is what this is what our complex expression looked like. When we look down here, it actually shows you the only time we get a true result with this thing is when A and B are on. So the truth table checks out. Let's test it in logic uh, L Y. I'm in demo mode here, um, and I've set it up so. This, this one here up at the top is our AND gate, A and B. It's our most simplistic form. It's how we, it's what we, we brought our Boolean expression down into. That, this light bulb here that's connected to this AND gate is only on when both inputs are on. Okay. Likewise with this one, this is our complex expression. This one here was basically a, a NAND gate, a NOR gate and a NOT gate all strung together. These three gates, which you know, can be expressed as even more gates because, you know, the, the Morgan's laws say that they can be. Um, 
match up. So both light bulbs work using both circuit types, but only when A and B are on at the same time. Okay, so you can use a system like this to help you check your answers. You can use a system like Wolfram Alpha to check your answers. But I always recommend, you know, working your way through this, using the laws, and then drawing your own truth table to help you figure it out. So that's one of the examples. Uh, I'll stop this video here so you can work through that one and I'll keep posting up some examples for you guys to, to follow along and, and try out.